Let's take a look at the chart action for Dogecoin. Okay, so here's what I was looking at. We have resistance right here, resistance right here. We have support, support. Let's go ahead and do some trend lines. We also have support right here and support right here and here. Let's do set up some trend lines. So we have this top right here. We have this resistance that we're kind of trending down right now. Something like this until we break this uptrend downtrend going to the upside that I'm thinking it's pushing us down. We also have support support support. Let's go ahead and draw a trend line something like this. It does look like we're forming maybe a falling wedge pattern. If we could break this top trend line going to the upside, I think we could start looking at this upside target right here at this previous top should I say at around dot one six eight approximately and then if we break it to the downside the things that i'm watching is we have support right here and support right here let's go ahead and draw a trend line something like this it's possible that we can come down and find support on here and get a bounce or it's possible that we break it if we break it i'd be looking at the bottom down here sitting at around maybe dot one two six so if we break this trend line going to the downside i'm looking at this bottom it's also possible that we go lower than this level right here and we drop lower the other thing i'm kind of watching if we kind of zoom out we have some supports right here support right here and support right here let's go ahead and do another trend line in general we're getting lower lows and we are trending down and we're also getting lower highs kind of pretty much these two were very simple these two are pretty close but in general we are still trending down if we could break this downtrend going to the upside then that's going to be a good signal but it's kind of hard to see where it's really where it really is because we get these little spikes in dogecoin and we kind of pop through them and then kind of come back down so it's kind of hard to tell when we're really going to break through that but i think once we kind of once we start hitting like higher highs we have these highs right here highs right here if we could break above this one break above these ones then that's what we're pretty much looking for in my opinion in general like i said we are trending up we haven't broke this trend line going to the downside if we do i'll be looking at this bottom down here and maybe this trend line down here somewhere i don't know it just depends on how far it goes or i don't know it just depends for like i said the first spot down here at around dot one two six we haven't broke it yet, but that's just what I'll be looking at if we do break it. And then the other thing, like I said, that I'm watching is this little falling wedge right here. If we break this going to the upside, then I'll be looking at this target up here. And then, because we also have resistance, resistance, something like this. So we have this kind of little top going something like that. If we, if we could break this going to the upside, then I'll be looking at the next tops, so on and so forth. First things first though is this falling wedge. Technically we are trending down right now. So I'm kind of curious how far we're gonna trend down if we're gonna break to the upside on the downside on this little target. And then if this bottom support is gonna hold support or we're gonna get pushed down to the bottom down here or potentially this trend line. This is sitting at around maybe 11 cents. I don't know, these are just the lines that I'm watching for, for next targets and next signals on things to do. I think the first things I'm watching is this line and this line and this one. If we break this one going to the upside, that's going to be a bullish signal. If we break this one going to the downside, that's going to be a bearish signal in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. If you like chatting about crypto, you should join my Discord. I'll leave a link in the comments. If you're new to the channel, check out this video right here. It's a video about buying and selling. I kind of go more in depth on strategies that I might have used on this video. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.